वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर बड़ी मैनाक एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन टेक्ल स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन सो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी हैड मेड द मॉडल वेरी क्विकली हैविंग आर सी सी बिल्डिंग एंड अ स्टील फ्लोर एव अव इट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोन टू कम्प्लीट दिस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम एज यू ऑलवेज डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील पुट द लोड्स यर सो दिस इज अवर पर्टिकुलर प्लिंथ लेवल विल गो टू द प्लिंथ लेवल हियर विल गो टू द मॉडल and we'll go to the structure base here and after that we'll put our loads okay so before starting to put our loads if you are bumping into our channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please hit the subscribe button and also like the video because it helps us reach more audience and it also supports our team by increasing our view percentage on the youtube okay so now just we'll apply the loads we'll go to load here and this is the plinth level we'll apply the dead loads so we'll select the dead here and we'll just go and select the full udl option here and after that we'll apply the full udl so for the external loads we'll apply 11 and we'll just apply this in the external walls for the load of the 11 kN and the internal walls is supply 5.5 along all the internal beams in which above which the internal walls will be there can go to the structure 3d and you can check in the dead option this is the loads here you can see the difference in the magnitude so as you can see if you can click on the here as well as well this is the 11 kN load and this is the 5.5 kN load so you can see that how the using is is the right uh, click of the mouse button to rotate it and you can see how the software differentiates between these two so it's pretty awesome so after that uh, we'll just go to our structure 1 and after going to the structure 1 here We'll do the same thing. We'll just take the dead here and uh, your full UDL here, and we'll apply our UDL here. So this time we'll apply go for the same thing. We'll apply 11 in the outer walls. So it basically depends upon the brickwork or the masonry work above it, and you can customize your loading as per that. And if you want to see the video on which I have uh, told you how to calculate this wall load, so you can ask in the comment section. I'll give you the link to that video. So here. we have the loads here and we want to apply some imposed loads so we'll go to loads here and we'll select this imposed option and a you know just go to the level option and residential building 2 kN per meter square load as per the is 456 you could check in the structure 3d here after applying the you know dead load we are applying the imposed load as well so this is the imposed load which has been applied So now for the roofs we need to apply the loads. So before doing that we'll just go to the option of here you have this load groups you have this load cases you can select this load cases you can go to imposed here and you can just copy this. Copy of imposed I'll rather name name this as your roof imposed. R O W R W F roof and imposed and here I'll make this as roof imposed and then click on okay. So now we are ready to apply the dead loads and the live loads. So while we will apply the dead loads along the elements and the roof load is or the roof imposed load is applied as projected. So the dead load of this particular roof depends on the type of sheet which you will be using. So it can be customized according to that. Suppose you are using aluminium sheet, steel sheets, or based on the thickness, it will be calculated. So we will provide an approximate value, but If you want us to make a video on that, how to calculate it, we'll also do it. You can comment in the comment section for a particular kind of sheet. We'll show you how to calculate that value. So here we'll come up and first of all we'll go and select the roof roof imposed load and we'll select this area load and we'll select three and this will be along element or this will be along projected. So it will be projected here, here like this. We'll project it the live load and we'll select the dead load. and the dead load will go for our area load and this area load will be your along element this is normal dead load which you provide and will give a value of the dead load 0.5 it depends upon the material but by default you can take 0.5 for most materials it will satisfy this criteria so this is the dead load and live loads which has been applied and after having applied that uh, you can just go and validate the model from here you have the option of validate here also you can build it from here and you can check the validation so the validation is done and after the validation is done 
you can just go to your loads and if you want to apply the seismic load you can do that so in the seismic wizard let's apply the seismic loads as well back go by the core spectra our base or the plinth level is your base important factor is one for normal buildings as per the is code we'll use model response spectrum analysis and we'll use this type of you know we have this various option so this is the rc moment resisting frame this is the rc steel composite building and steel moment resisting frame uh, without any masonry infill so we'll go with rc moment resisting frame here and here also we'll go with rc com steel composite moment resisting frame we'll go to next and here we'll select moment frame systems moment frame systems and here as you can see this will select we can select various option rc building with omrf rc building with smrf steel building with omrf so here we'll have both you know rcc and steel so you can go with either so we'll go with steel buildings with omrf that is ordinary moment resisting frame and click on next here we'll take all of this and into consideration we'll click on next and finish and after that in the scenario let's go operating next so these are limit state and, and working stress combination we we'll go all all take all the limit state combinations next and finish and after that we are done here so we'll validate the model once again and we'll go to design and click on design all static okay we have forgot to apply the load combination i've done it on purpose so that i can show you what is the effect so we'll go to load and select the load combination generate and then create generate our load combinations here so we've selected all the load limit state methods as per the is code click on next next and then your finish and after that click on ok and after that you can go and click on design all static so as you can see the structure has been designed now if you want to generate the reports of it you can go to report option and you can generate suppose i'll first generate the material listing i want to know what is the material listing will show click on show report here and i want to i just the material listing i prefer it in ms excel i just clicked on the ms excel program let's see how it opens up and this is the material listing as you can see in the ms excel and we'll have the uh, total reinforcement of you know steel or various sections kg so that i can procure um, all the materials properly and i'll also i'll have the total you know, uh, you know quantity and volume of steel which has to be purchased of fe4 until grade which we have used you can use other grades as well and, and m20 concrete of volume 19.2 meter cube and if you go by the steel reinforcement that is uh, you know the rcc you know steel rebars which are used in the concrete this also you can find it in kgs so it is around 2.19 ton so this is the material listing and suppose if you want to are uh, designing for someone and if you want to give the other reports just for the design data and all you can do so using this option so uh, we'll mainly require this two options that is the building design and you can just click on your show report and this will be the design the building report here you can generate this in pdf i prefer this in pdf because it will show like whether you have made all members pass or not because in the structural drawing one can check whether you, the member sizes you provided you properly you know passed in the software or you just bluffing so this this thing can be you know checked in this uh, particular design report and if you want you can also uh, generate another document which is also very important go to reports and this is the loading data so if anyone wants to check your whether you have applied the proper loading in your model then they ask for this report you can provide this report i also prefer to you know print it out in this pdf format and as you can see in this uh, you have the various codes which is the building uh, you know software has considered and you can submit it and your design can be validated so like this these things you can do and if you are designing now if you are in the research field and if you want to go uh, for research then you can also use the analysis data so for using the analysis data you can go here to this, this structural view this is the resolver view and this is the results view so this is the results view and here you can go to the analysis results you can turn on this option of results here and you will turn on the in the text option you turn on the forces and you can you can see the forces which are acting here so these are the analysis results of the axial forces and if you want you can see uh, the uh, major you know the shear forces shear major you know, have the shear forces here for the beams as well as the columns and you will have this particular 
uh, moments as well for the beams as well as the columns you can see so if you want the shear force bending moment in ILD in a single go you can just select on this and right click and you can have this option of in you know, a show member loading or open member view or open load analysis view you can click on this open load analysis view you can see the bending moment shear forces and then influence line diagram in a single go so this you can do and if you want to check the deflection of it you can just uh, just click turn off this results turn off this turn on this deflection and uh, we'll just turn off these values and turn on these values of forces and you can see the deflections on the structure which on the check the analysis results as well you can just right click and then click on animate and it will animate the results of the deflection for you so this is a very useful thing and if you want to know more about you can check the pick out the play playlist of tecla structural designer in our youtube page and so if you like this video make sure sure you share it with your friends because that will encourage us a lot to bring out more content for you and this brings a lot of encouragement in our team if you just comment anything thank you bye bye